A way to set an exact scale is by selecting the viewport while in your layout space and going down to the bottom right here and adjusting the scale. By default, you're going to have some of the standard scales depending on the template or uh, base drawing you're using. And you can simply select one to zoom automatically to that scale. So we're going to zoom out here to say 330 seconds equals one foot, or you could zoom in to say 3 16 equals one foot. This is the same if you're using metric or imperial, you're just going to have different scales depending on which version you're using. So you can see here, this scale fills this viewport pretty well. And now we can add another viewport to show a say zoomed in, or we can simply start adding notes and legends and labels and text and stuff within our layout here. One thing that is nice to do and a great uh, option is the ability to create odd or different shaped viewports. So you can draw out a polyline or polygon here, simply have a closed object and type in that MV, or you can go up to layout here and choose the object option. So if you choose that option here, object, you can simply select the object you would like to make into a viewport and it's going to automatically create a viewport in that shape. Once you're happy with the way your viewports are set up and look, and that includes the panning around as well as the scales are set to your liking. So maybe you want to zoom quite a ways in there and in this one I'm happy. What you can do is lock these viewports by selecting a viewport and right clicking. You can choose display locked and choose yes. And you can confirm if a viewport is locked by just looking at this blue lock down in the bottom right. You can also click it to lock and unlock. Now you can see if I activate it, nothing changes.